I had a question on structuring the team because when you go through that phase of blitz scaling, it's extremely rare to sort of anticipate how much you will grow next week, next month, next quarter. How do you think of best practices in terms of designing and architecting the team to sort of support and sustain that kind of growth? I think lean teams make sense initially, but now we have a very clear idea about what the market looks like. The way I see it is like we're going to build the world's best coding agent and then the best platform to code. We are trying to be as flat as possible. So no managers, not even a tech lead in the team, everybody just codes. Where I think we are a little bit ahead of, I think everybody else in the market is also that we use an AI extensively internally. We use all of the emergent agents that we have built for like code reviews, for testing, for like debugging deployments. I think we are able to do like 30, 40, 50 people team work in a, in a week's time because we leverage AI pretty heavily internally as well. And we look for people like who truly see this as a mission to sort of really bring AI to everybody. And I think that clicks, then I think everything starts working out. Whenever we are pitching someone to join, it is one of the core messages that you should be excited. You should be AI curious, technologically curious. A lot of things that we are doing is state of the art. It is not that we are solving solved problems. Anything that comes up, it is a new problem. You have never done it. And people who are coming in have to have those traits to go and think from first principles, start solving those tough challenges, which is very new to the world currently.